Have you ever noticed that when people are passionate about what they're saying, their gestures automatically become more animated? Like Sofia Vergara, Margot Robbie, or Emilia Clark. But in this video, we're going to talk about how to captivate someone even if they're not interested in the topic at hand. No pun intended. Open palms at an angle. Gestures with palms showing tilted at a 45 degree angle signal candor and openness. When people are truthful or forthcoming, people tend to use open gestures showing their palms and rests spreading away from their body. It's as if you're saying, see, I have nothing to hide. Palms up. When palms are rotated straight up and fingers are spread in a prototypical pleading position, it communicates the lack of something that the speaker needs or is requesting. It can be used to make an ask like, I'd love for you to open up your wallets and make a donation. Palms down. Speakers pronate their palms to signal power and certainty. This is also a controlling signal as when to try to quiet down an audience. Vertical palms. Vertical palms gestures with a rigid hand are often used to demonstrate the needs for precise measurements or to beat out a rhythm that gives emphasis to certain words. Clenched hands. When a speaker clutches an object tightly, grips their hands behind their back, or curls their hands into a fist, it signals anger, frustration, or a nonverbal way of saying, I'm holding on to something and I'm not going to open up to you. Within context, I've seen it also be used as a uniting piece, suggesting that we cannot be wavered, taking a stance or being in full conviction of something. You'll likely see this in leaders use a fist to add a nonverbal equivalent of a firm commitment to their message. Finger pointing. Finger pointing and wagging are parental gestures of scolding. And I've also seen it used specifically in politicians and executives and they use this gesture in meetings, negotiations, or interviews to emphasize or to show dominance. The problem with this <laughs> is that rather than being a sign of authority, aggressive finger pointing suggests that the leader is losing control of the situation. And the gesture is the equivalent of a playground bully. Hands on hips. Whether in a stubborn toddler or an aggressive CEO, hands on the hips is one of those common gestures used to communicate defiant, super confidence, or an independent attitude. Hidden hands. Hidden hands make you look less trustworthy. This is one of those nonverbal signals that is deeply ingrained in our subconscious. Our ancestors made survival decisions based on solely bits and pieces of information they picked up visually. So in our prehistory, when someone is approaching with their hands out of view, it was a clear signal of a potential danger. Today, the threat of hidden hands is more symbolic than real, our psychological discomfort still remains. Steepling gestures. Steepling gestures, also known as the Hakini Mudra. It is common to see a speaker using a steepling gesture when feeling confident or comfortable about a subject she or he knows. So politicians, executives, professors, and attorneys are very fond of doing the steepling gesture. Hand gestures of enthusiasm. There is an interesting equation of hand and arm movements with energy. If a leader wanted to project more enthusiasm and drive, she or he could do so by increased gesturing. On the other hand, over gesturing, especially when hands are raised above the shoulders over here, it can make you appear erratic or maybe less powerful less authoritative as well. Hand gestures of composure. Arms held at waist height and gestures within the horizontal plane help you and the audience feel centered and composed. Arms at waist and bent at a 45 degree angle accompanied by a stanza about shoulder width the part makes you feel very grounded. And it's also the one that I would suggest leaders to use to have an energized yet 
focus, presentation. Hands are just one aspect of body language communication. Just notice all the different variations that your hands can communicate. If you want to learn more about what your body is communicating subconsciously, then tap here for my body language playlist. If you want any assistance beyond this, feel free to reach out. I'm here to help.